Right now, the city of St. Charles is getting ready to put on its pride celebration. Now, it's one of the smaller celebrations in our area, but it has a very big mission. Travis Cummings has been talking to organizers, and he joins us live from Arena Parkway with all of the weekend's festivities. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. That's right. We are here at the Family Arena at Arena Parkway, and I can tell you this parking lot is going to be transformed in the next 24 hours. There's going to be action from noon to 7 tomorrow, and there's so much in store. And I had the privilege of talking to the founder of Pride St. Charles this morning, Beth Fender. Good morning to you. Good morning, Travis. How are you? Excellent. So what are some of the highlights of this year's celebration? So the highlights that we have going on is our doggy drag show is one of our most attended, most loved attractions. Um, that will be sort of staffed by uh, one of our local um, shelters, which is Diamonds in the Rough. So that gets a lot of attention. We have a whole family area where kids and families can just chill out, do some hands-on activities, make some bracelets. Um, we're gonna have some cornhole set up. We're also gonna have some drag story time. Uh, for the kiddos and the families, so it's going to be amazing and entertainment all day long. Got it. You got to get the pooches ready. I love That's that. Right. That's love right. that. Well, Beth, I read a little bit about your story. You know, you said that there was not much representation when it came to pride here in the St. Charles County area. Why is visibility so important? Well, you spoke earlier about Stonewall. It's so important that we remember the past where the community has come from and look forward to the future and celebrate those strides. You know, as a cisgender female that represents as an ally for the community, it's really important that our son, who is gay, that they have the same rights and the same accessibility to be able to celebrate. And so that's why Pride and creating this festival and this community for the LGBTQIA plus folks was so important to me. We needed to make some change in our community. And we've definitely seen that. Some, there are more um, open and affirming businesses within our own community since we have started our work. So that's really gratifying. All right. Beth Fender, thank you so much for Pride St. Louis. Well, we have a list of events happening for Pride Month all month long at KSDK.com. All you have to do, though, is text the word Pride to our phone number there. That's 314-425, excuse me, 5355, and we'll send you a link right to your phone. Live in St. Charles this morning, Travis Cummings, five on your side. Thank you, Travis.